I was super, super impressed with this fragrance. Bensley's Momentum Intense. Now this fragrance was suggested to me by Jerry D from NY as well as Jaguar Pace for a little while ago. I did like Jaguar Pace. It was a very solid fragrance. I think it was about $13. Didn't really have too many things bad to say about it. I was posting about a Bentley fragrance. He suggested that I buy this one. I buy this one and I gotta say guys, I was super, super impressed with this fragrance right from the first second that I smelled it. I was wondering if that excitement was gonna stay and it has. I really, really like this fragrance. Guys, I could say right now, this is for sure gonna be in my top 10 cheap fragrances of all time. This is definitely my favorite fragrance from Bensley. I wrote down the notes and then I wrote down some pros and the cons. I didn't want to talk too much about it until I get into the pros and the cons. So just so I'm not repeating myself, I was avoiding saying any pros and cons right there until we jump into them specifically. Let's jump into the notes here. To be honest, this fragrance reminds me a little bit of Herod by Perfumes de Marley and a little bit of CH Men Privé. To be honest, when I look at the notes, it doesn't really seem that way, but this smells really like those dark tobacco style scents, although it has notes of its own. So the notes are amber wood, ambergris, lavender, and lemon. Elamai, sandalwood, and musk. Nothing really that you'd see in CH Men Privé or nothing you really see in Herod. In my opinion, that's really what this smells like. Almost a complete blend of those two with a tad bit of something else. So let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. This is a very, very high quality, dark tobacco style fragrance. If you like Herod, if you like CH Men Privé, you'll absolutely love it. Just 100%, I love those fragrances. And I was getting this one and I was like, ah, oh, it's gonna be one of those fragrances that kind of blends two things, but kind of just doesn't do it as good as the original but it's just so so nice every time I keep getting into it every time I smell it I just absolutely enjoy it guys I just really really enjoyed this one CH Men Privé is one of my favorite fragrances Parfums de Marley Herod is one of my favorite fragrances and I don't think I've smelled anything that reminds me of Herod around this price range I think this was in the 20 to 30 dollar price range I'll make sure to put the exact price I paid down below and the last uh, pro is that it's affordable it's a cheapie I can't believe it's a cheapie but I really really do enjoy this this is my favorite Bentley fragrance for sure hands down that's just me there's not that many cons at all with this fragrance but the only two I could think is that it has a synthetic smell but all tobacco style fragrances are this kind of synthetic kind of smell so it's really not taking anything away from it and if you're like me and a lot of other people tobacco notes they're just so luxurious and so nice and enjoy them in almost any fragrance it is a little bit synthetic but it's so likable at the same time and another con is that the projection is average but it's not bad or too low to the point where it's like really gonna hurt it. it's just average projection so i kind of wanted to put that in the cons it's not insane but it's not bad at the same time. And those are really the only two cons. It's a little bit synthetic. For the smell rating, I give it an 8.5. Really, really solid. Absolutely like this stuff. An 8.5 is pretty high for me, especially for a cheap fragrance. The likability, to be honest, I should probably put this likability a little bit lower, but I just really like this stuff, guys. So I'm gonna put it an 8.5 out of 10. I'm not putting it like a 9, 9.5. I'm not saying everybody's gonna like it, but I really, really like it. So the longevity and projection, I'd give it a 7.5. It's right down the middle. It's not too low, but it's also not like a super insane strong projector, but it's also not one of those ones where I'm really worried about the performance or the performance holds it back or I have to overspray. It's good enough for me. And if I would say buy, try, or pass this one, guys, I would say 100% buy this fragrance most people you kind of fine-tune your fragrance taste if you've tried um ch men Privé, if you've tried herod before i would say 100 percent go for this style fragrance i know a lot of people that's one of their favorite style fragrances but there's probably a select few who aren't into those tobacco style fragrances don't really like those synthetic notes maybe you like more fresh style fragrances more hot style fragrances in that instance i wouldn't go as much for this one and this is a cold weather fragrance for sure i just really really enjoy this one very very strong buy my favorite bentley definitely going to be in my top 10 overall chibis list for sure thank you so much jerry d for recommending me this one i've tried so many solid fragrances but this one to me is actually a little special i really enjoy it but anyways guys let me know what you thought of this video please leave all your feedback down below i always love to see it we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you on the next video peace This is definitely my 